Hello guys, welcome back to the Axon Files, and in this video, I will be teaching you how to program your calculator with the Pythagorean Theorem. First, let's go and see how it works. So, when you enter the program, you should find two options, which is either hypotenuse or leg. So, you can either solve for the hypotenuse or solve for the leg. And right now, I want to solve for the leg, so let's go to leg, and let's take a right triangle such as the 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Where the legs are 3 and 4, and the hypotenuse is 5. So let's enter the hypotenuse as 5. Then let's enter the leg as 3, and the answer should be the other leg is 4. And let's see if it works. And yes, it does work. And I also added an extra feature on it, which will help when there's a, an answer that's not so nice, like 4, maybe like the square root of 83 or something. So instead of putting some decibel number, It'll say the square root of 83, which will make it easier for you to answer any questions. So always feel free to pause the video and look down below at the key press history whenever you feel that you are behind. So now that we've executed the program, let's actually start making it now. So let's go to program, then scroll right until we get to new. Click on new. Then, so let's name this something close to Pythagorean theorem and abbreviate it like Pytha theorem like THM so PY P Y T H T H A T H M for theorem so then let's click enter now and so first we had to go to program scroll down and under control there's something called menu click on menu then in quotes so let's do in quotes what so what do you you want want to find so what do you want to find question mark and quotes then click alpha again then comma and in quotes again hypotenuse h y p o r t e n U S E. Then end these quotes. Then do comma again, comma two, comma. Then let's in quotes again. In quotes, leg, L E G. E, end quotes. Then let's do alpha again and comma, three. Okay, so now we have to go to program again and go down to 9, which is label, label 2, then click enter again. So now we go to program, I slash O, we go to input, input, then it's input in quotations, in quotations, like L E G, and then do a colon space and quotes then alpha again comma a so then enter again go to program i slash o input again so then basically do the same thing except in the quotes this time it's other leg other leg l a g Colon again, space, and quotations. And now instead of comma A, we do comma B. Okay, so now we go enter, and then in program, we go to display, display, in quotations, the Hypotenuse is
is and uh, colon and quotes and alpha comma comma square root of a squared plus b squared close parentheses comma in quotations second alpha in quotations or or the square root of 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 then colon and quotes alpha comma comma then it's a squared plus b squared so now we have to end this label so we go to program go down to g which is stop Stop. Then now we click enter again. Now we go to LBL3. So program 9 LBL3. Then we do the same thing basically except with hypotenuse and leg. So let's do input, input, in quotes, hypotenuse. Uh, and use. hypotenuse then we put colon then space and we end the quotes then we do let's do comma c so alpha comma c so then we go enter again we go to program input then second alpha then we go to leg l e g and then we do colon again, space, uh, quotations, and we go to alpha again, comma, alpha, comma, B. So now we have to do the big display line again. So we go to program, I slash show, display, then we go to second, alpha, in quotes, T the other leg is and quotes then we do alpha comma c the square root of so square root of c squared C squared minus B squared and brackets and now we comma then we go to alpha lock again and in quotations uh, it's or or the square root of like again square root of Square root of the square root of mm, colon and and quotation. Then we do alpha comma c squared minus b squared c squared minus b squared okay so now the last step we have to do is a stop this label which is down here we go to a ctl then g again for stop and now we have finished building the program now let's test our program to exit out of this program we do second mode and so let's go to program let's try both of the labels so let's go to pythag 
theorem, Python theorem. So now we enter. So it will ask what, what do you want to find. So let's look at the hypotenuse. Let's find the hypotenuse first. So let's take the triangle 6, 8, 10. So the leg is 6 and the other leg is 8. And it should say the hypotenuse is 10 or the square root of 100. So now let's try the let's try the leg let's find the leg so let's do the square root 5 12 13 so the legs are 5 and 12 and the hypotenuse is 13 so hypotenuse is 13 and let's try the leg 5 so now it should return that the other leg is 12 and it does and it also gives a square root of 144 that's it for now thank you for watching our video and please subscribe like Com and comment any concerns or questions you might have. Also, be sure to watch our other videos including the program for the quadratic formula, Heron's formula, and distance and midpoint formulas. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time on the Axon Files.